Hi, this is Tweak. Welcome to another episode of Tweaks with Tweak. Today I'm going to take a 3D reading card, add it to a shadow box, and create a keepsake. Join us. Supplies you need for this project are a greeting card. It could be a trifold card or a box card, anything that has multiple layers so you can make, get a 3D effect. You will need some glitter, some glue, a 5x7 shadow box frame, an X Acto knife and a scissors, a pencil, some cardboard, some white paint, and let's get started. This idea all started with me when a dear friend sent me a lovely trifold Christmas card and I saved it. I put it up for years and then I got the idea to put it into a shadow box which gives you the 3D effect and it protects it so I can put it up for a long time to come. Today we're going to work on a card for a baby because this doesn't have to be just Christmas cards. It can be any kind of card you'd like to do. These cards can be pretty expensive, but I am going to take it apart and then put it into the shadow box. So here we go. Looking inside, I've got multiple layers in this card and I want to turn it into three layers. So I'm going to begin by separating the three main pieces in this card and I'm going to run down the seam with my scissors. Here we go. It's all constructed together. So I'm just taking out the back here. Now these little pieces here, I'm going to use those. I'm not going to use the side panels, so I'm going to very carefully, so just be gentle with it. And you can pull the paper away that far. And I'm not using these sides, I'm using the front, the back, and the middle. There's little pieces here that hang, so you want to be careful that you don't get too rough with this. All goes back together like that. I'm going to lay that out in front of me. I want this front, so I'm going to come down the seam there. These pieces we will use, so don't toss them out. Here's the middle. I am going to now detach it as well. I wasn't sure when I was peeling it apart if I was going to detach it, but now that I see that I am, I'll go ahead and do that. We have our little pieces that go in. We'll work those in. And these little pieces I'm going to use to put little buffers between the layers. And I'll explain that in a moment. So we have back, middle, and front. Here's what it looks like all flat. Okay. Set these aside for a moment while I get ready the frame. It's a 5x7 shadow box frame. You can get them at your local craft store, your local home improvement store, any place you can find frames. What I'm going to do is open up the frame, take the back off. And because I'm going for a 3D effect, I'm going to take some cardboard and cut the grooves into the right size for this frame and then attach them in. And the way I do that is this. Take a piece of cardboard and I measured already the inside of this frame. So you'd have to kind of wiggle around to figure it out for whatever frame you're using. And I need to take this apart. Doesn't really matter which side you pull on, but when you take cardboard and pull the paper off, you end up exposing the grooves. There's two grooves or three bumps. I want two grooves. So now that I know I want it to be that size, I can come down this main side here. I'm going to clean this up a little bit because then I'm going to paint it white so that when you look inside the shadow box you won't see it. It'll blend in better. Peel away carefully this paper. Kind of nibble away at it till it cleans up. It comes right off. You might have to work at it a little bit. All right, so I've got that cleaned up. So you've got a piece of cardboard that's going to fit inside the shadow box. And I've got two of them now. See how close I am. Good. Two channels. Now I'm going to paint these, then I'm going to install them in the inside of the box. So let's get some paint. Like I said, I just want this to blend in with the inside of the frame. So if you're using um, a brown frame or black frame, 
The brown frame, actually, I did one for Thanksgiving, and this color looked great on the inside. Black, you'd probably paint, paint it black, white, of course, paint it white. You just want it to disappear into the frame color. So you notice the 3D effect and not the cardboard. Okay, so while these are drying, because this is the back of the shadow box, so you can hang it or set it either way, just set it out. All right, so I'm going to take the back of that card and I'm going to affix it to this board. Now, because there's a little bit of edge shining, I'm going to get my paint again and I'm going to cover that up a little bit with my white paint. I didn't really plan for, for this, but you don't really know until you take the card apart. This is again just a, a cardboard piece of backing and I just want the card to sit there and if you look in I don't want you to see this this color I want you to see just the white like the frame okay now I'm gonna let that dry too and while that dries I'll attach these guys to the front part of the frame I think I'm done with the white paint now for a while okay so got our frame you wait and I've got my two pieces and I'm just going to lie them in, press them in to the frame and then I'm going to add some hot glue to fit snug and as even as possible so that when I put the card in the grooves will be neat and level. I think that's going to work. So now I'm just going to take my hot glue gun, add some glue. You don't need a lot of groove there, just enough to hold the paper in place. Because we're working from the front to the back on the frame, I'm going to do the first part first. Hello Baby's going to go in here. So I want to fit this inside the frame, but it's a little bit too small. So I'm going to take some cardstock that I had, kicking around, and I'm going to measure Using the back lid, I'm going to measure the size I need. And I'm going to attach. Oh, I'm glad this has stripes on it. It makes it a little easier. There we go. Cut this out. I'm not going to use this side to show. I don't want the stripey side. I'm going to use the other side. Actually, I have to cut out that part too. So let me get my pencil. I'm going to cut a square. Cut this out. Okay, so this is what we need to cut out. And I'm going to tack that down. It should fit better. Okay, just four little tacks of glue. I don't want a whole lot of glue here. Just a little bit. that's hot. So now we have the front. You see this, hopefully you won't see the rest. Before I lay that in there, take a piece of paper towel and just make sure the glass is clean. Here we go. All right. Hello baby, here we come. So I'm just going to very gently ease that in. We're getting past these grooves and we're going to the very front. And let it lie right on the glass. It should just sit there nicely. That's what we have so far. See, that little bit of extra helped to hold it in place. Now comes the middle section. This one's a little more 
fussy. Uh, we want this here, but I also want the other pieces. I have three layers to put in there, but I have some little pieces I want to augment in. So I'm going to cut them out. See what I have to work with. There's a baby crib in this one, which will go here in front of this piece. I'm going to actually attach them right to the center piece. And I'm just going to put this where I think I want it to be, right about in there. And I'm going to take some of this card that we discarded. These thin pieces I like right here. And I'm going to make little teeny triangles. Let me show you. So I want to bring that image up just a little bit and see so when I attach it, it sits up a little bit. And as I put it into the frame, it will push down a little bit, but you still get the 3D effect. I'm going to make a little triangle. And then I'm going to attach one here. Let's see if that's going to work. Yep, I like it. That glue gun. A little bit. See how it's going to come back up? Just, I want just enough to make just the slightest little spot. It's going to pull it up from the page in front of it or behind it to give it that 3D look. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little dot of glue, a little dot of glue, line it up. Put the little thing there. I want the bed underneath it. I don't want to press real hard because I want a little bit of a differentiation there. Good. Now this guy here, I think I'm just going to cut out the little chair and add it in. Let's get my other little scissors. So I get all these little star effects and I add the little chair. So I'm going to go for it. I'm going to add the little chair. So now it's going to sit right there. I like that. Take another piece. I could use this piece right here. fold this one a little more because I want it to stand out a little more. So I'm going to, which gun have I got here? Make sure you get the right image. Okay, and then we're going to attach it right in here. Cover up that little star so that the chair is here. And this is our second layer. And I might put another little dab of glue just right there to hold the chair down a little bit. Okay, so so far we've kind of flattened it down a little bit, but you still have that 3D look. Now I'm going to. I'm just going to set them aside for a minute while I measure out again using this paper. Oh, here's a pretty blue. back a little bit. I kind of like that, so I'm going to let it arch a little bit. All right. Here's our middle. And here again we're going to attach it. 
You're just eyeballing it. So if I need to, cut the middle out. And then we'll go right down here. Right, here we go again. I can go a little bit outside. Scallops there are going to cover up this edge. So I'm just gonna go straight around, attach. That looks great. We want to be able to see through. All right. A bit of glue. Here we go. Okay. Before I add this in, I'm going to brighten it up a little bit with some glitter. Okay. So I'm going to take this little bit of glue I had here and I'm going to add a little bit of glitter to the cloud. A little bit of glow. Uh, I think I'm going to go kind of around. the glitter. Just gently tap. Okay, now I'm ready to add them in. The middle layer. And while that dries for a second, I'm going to get rid of the Glitter. So I'll come back to that. All right, so I'm going for that groove that we set up on the side. I'm going to very gently angle this in. Okay, let's see how it looks. That stayed good. How's it look so far? Oh gosh, see that? Glitter adds just a little bit of pop. Now all we have is the back. So let me, actually I'm just gonna let it, okay. Careful, stay. We need to add this as the last thing, which means I need one more piece. We use this again. Oh, look at that, I only have to cut one side. All right. This time we don't have to cut anything out because it's just showing in the night time sky in the back. So I'm just going to tack it down. Okay. Now this one's just going to sit in this last groove here. Make sure all the prongs are out of the way, and there's that last groove. We're just gonna let it flop in. That last groove holds it in place. Okay, this is the fun part now. Uh, top is there. Put the hanger that way. I'm just gonna gently lay this in. Oops, now the paper's blocking that one. There we go. The two little, oh, there we go. It popped better. Hang this in. And we've got this one to fold down. And this one to fold down. How's it look? <laughs> Isn't that adorable? <laughs> You know, I get a little bit, uh, when I cut up that beautiful card, this is really, really cute. So if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to ring the bell so you know when another episode of Tweaks with Tweak is coming along. Until then, if you get a very nice expensive card like I did from a really good friend, you can keep it and protect it and enjoy it 
for years to come. See you again. <laughs>